Hello, this is Paolo and in this video I'm going to give you a preview of the upcoming Reality 4.1 release. This version introduces a lot of new features but most notably a speed improvement that is amazing and we'll see in action. So uh, let me just show you our scene. Here we go, and uh, we have just a, a model, the car, background and environment, and one, two, three, four mesh lights. The background is provided by the IBL light. So if we look in the reality, we see our lights here, one, two, three, four mesh lights and one IBL. All right, if we look at the Output parameters, we have 100 samples here. This will give us a, an objective stop point. I'm going to render this scene twice. The first time using the classic rendering uh, system, the one that we use up to version 4.0 of reality. And then the second time with the new acceleration option and then we will compare the times and throughout this demo, I'm going to have this clock here on the screen all the time. Please notice that the clock, uh, the seconds hand is changing color, so it makes it impossible to basically do anything with the video. I want you to be completely sure that this video is not going to be edited in any way. The only thing I'm going to do is to compress the uh, rendering time for the first run because lux will take quite some time and so we're going to just speed it up but the clock will be on the screen all the time showing you that nothing has been removed or added we are just compressing time. And if we look in the acceleration tab which is different actually this is not a tab this is the acceleration page but anyway uh, this is different from what we had in uh, Reality 4.0 and what I'm going to do is to select the CPU no acceleration option. This means that we are going to render this scene using the CPU only and we are not going to use any acceleration. This is basically the same modality of Reality 4.0. And uh, I'm going to use the export only option so that I can uh, I can export the scene to disk and then call Lux Render 1.3.1, which is the version that we use with uh, Reality 4.0. Okay, so all is set. And uh, please notice here the 100 samples again. And let's take a note of the path where I'm going to save the scene. It's slash users Paolo 3D scenes reality reality scene dot LXS. Okay, so let's export it. And then I'll call Lux Render. Let's verify the version. It's 1.3.1. Okay, so now we are going to open the file that I just generated. Look at the time, it's 2.4, sorry, <laughs> 2.40 p.m. And here we open. The path is exactly the same. Users, Paolo, 3D scenes, reality, reality scene.lxs created at today at 2.39 p.m., which is a minute ago. Okay, so let's open it and see what happens. So here Lux is starting rendering and I'm going to change this to let's say um, 600 seconds and at 30 seconds. We're gonna do both the same thing in, a, in both cases. And uh, let's click apply. Here is our scene. It's a slightly overexposed. So I'm gonna drink, bring this down to 125 ISO. Okay, so I let this go for a while and uh, I'll come back once the render is finished. Then we will do the 
other test and compare the times. Now, this is an estimated time. We are going to see exactly how much time um, this will require once the render is finished. Here is the, the progress bar and here is the clock. So, see you in a while.
All right, so the render is finished in 22 minutes and 43 seconds. So let's take a note of that, 22 minutes, 43 seconds. And I'm going to go to File, Save and Exit to make sure that we save this image. And so let's go back to reality. I'm going to change the name of the scene and the name of the image file so that, let's call it B, underscore B, so that we can compare the two things together and to use the new acceleration, which will be the default settings in uh, uh, Reality 4.1. You will not need to do anything, but you know, to move between one and the other. I'll just select CPU accelerated. I just want to make sure that we understand what we are doing here. Um, this is about rendering with the CPU. I'm not using any of the GPU acceleration. This is just CPU accelerated, which means it should be available to the vast majority of users. Uh, the machine I'm using is a Mac Pro 2010, so it's not the latest and greatest. It's a five-year-old machine. So anything that is just a few years old, five, six years old, should be just fine. It will take advantage of this acceleration. So we have the CPU acceleration. We changed the name of the scene so that we can compare the two files. And I'm going to just click on render frame. Actually, let's uncheck the export only and render. And we will see the difference. Now, when we use the acceleration, and let me select, okay, this, let's set this at um, 600 seconds as we did before. When we do the acceleration, um, the image doesn't appear on the screen right away. It takes uh, um, just a few seconds more. That is because we need to prepare some data for the acceleration, need to um, adjust some parameters. But the, the result will be that the final render will happen in a fraction of the time. So I'm going to change here this at 125 as before. And we see that the image is appeared and our estimated time <laughs> is about a minute and 30 seconds. So let's see how long it will take. Again, you'll see the clock here. Sorry for the flashing of images. That's that feature of the OS, but you'll see the clock ticking here. Nothing has been touched or changed. And it seems that we have just about 13 seconds to go. And let's see if this is true. Now, if this is true, it's going to be a dramatic, dramatic improvement in speed. All right, I seems that it's finished. Render is finished at one minute and 47 seconds. So let me again compare the speeds. We had 22 minutes and 43 seconds compared to one minute and 47 seconds. Uh, this is more than 10 times faster. This is just incredible. So let's close this, save and exit as well. And I'd like to compare the two images. So this is reality scene B, the one we just rendered, and the other scene. And uh, I would say that actually the new scene looks better. You'll notice this reflection in, uh, in the bumpers. So if you go to reality scene, the one that we Render at 22 minutes. This area is all dark. And here instead we have correct reflections. 
So not only uh, the speed is much higher, but it seems also that there are improvements in the quality. Now, this is not the final result. You see that there is still a lot of noise. I kept the scene uh, at a very low number of samples, 100. Now, normally, you would need at least you know, 500, between 500 to 2,000 samples. But, you know, now it takes uh, in less than two minutes to get 100 samples, so it's amazing. And you'll see also that these lights, to me, look more correct in the accelerated version. So this is what you can expect from Reality 4.1, which will be a free upgrade for every Reality 4 user. Now, one thing I want to address before I conclude, I heard people saying, well, you have a very fast machine, and so on and so forth. Well, uh, yes, I have a fairly good machine. It's not the latest and greatest, but it's a 12-core you know, machine. That doesn't change anything when we talk about uh, acceleration. If, for example, um, your machine is slower and it would take, I don't know, an hour uh, instead of 20 minutes to uh, render the, the, the non-accelerated scene, then it would take less than six minutes with the acceleration on your machine. We are talking about 10 times acceleration on the same hardware. So uh, there are all kinds of CPUs out there, no question about it, but the acceleration jump that we just noticed is something that you can expect on your own machine. So I think this covers the acceleration in Reality 4.1. We have plenty of other uh, features that I'll demonstrate in other videos. I hope this was useful and interesting. See you next time.